how you doing? Kevin Maloney. We're out here at Crystal Springs, cross country land. And today we're going to talk about strength training, the core principles. The reason I emphasize the core principles is the health and fitness industry has grown so much over the last 20 years that there are 10,000 views on how to exercise and you have experts from every country debating with other experts people with vast amounts of knowledge now someone trying to get stronger or enter the strength game trying to learn which way to go it's very confusing so i'm here today to tell you it's not that confusing we have made it confusing. And the reason why we make things confusing, as you know in other parts of your life, people like to come in and create activity for no reason, and you may have a revenue stream. But this strength training actually started about 2,500 years ago. In Greece, there was a guy, his name was Milo. He's a legendary wrestler, legendary wrestler back in the day. And Milo would win all these titles. And he came out of his house one day and he saw a little baby calf. And he took the baby calf and put the baby calf on his shoulder. And he walked around his block and he measured how long he was walking. And for some reason, Milo liked that put the cab down, waved at his neighbor, went back around his day. Next day, Milo looks at the cab and says, I think I'll pick that cab up, put that cab on my shoulders, and walk around the block again. So you're getting the idea here. Milo liked picking that cab up and walking around the block. But guess what? That calf is growing. So every day, Milo is picking up another pound or two. Boom. Four years later, Milo has not, <laughs> he hasn't stopped, okay? He is now picking up a full-size bull and putting that bull on his shoulder. Everybody's looking at him, and he is carrying that bull around the block. Now, we know that bulls go between 600 and 1,000 pounds. Milo is the father of resistant training. It is the same thing in the weight room. You have three principles that you have to follow. You don't have to follow anything else. The fundamentals are the key. The details and all the complications mean nothing. They mean nothing. You know how in paperwork, you got to say the devil's in the detail? Well, that's paperwork, okay? This is a different world. This is the world of body. It is fairly simple. Your three main things is start too easy. That means you start light. The intensity will come later. You emphasize volume in the beginning. You pick up something that does not challenge you and you do volume. The second principle is you continue to show up. Now, as simple as that seems, it's an important principle. Because if Milo didn't pick that cab up for a year and then came back and tried to pick the bull up, guess what? Even the great Milo is not going to pick that bull up. This is where consistency and showing up is important. Third thing 
to wrap up your program. We just wrapped up a program. Is you make small, manageable gains. Okay? Small, manageable gains. So you have three things. You start off lightweight, volume, intensity means heavier weight. You do not do intensity, okay? Number two, you show up all the time. You show up all the time. And third, you make small gains, okay? And you understand the concept of small gains. This is a problem a lot of people have, okay? Small gains, an example, if a person is walking and they're walking at a slow pace, but they keep walking and they keep walking, guess what? They're gonna cover a lot of territory. To give you an example in weights, let's say you're a person who's new to the strength training. And let's say you start off because you're starting off with the principles of being very, very light. You don't need the intensity of anything that's really going to stress your system. Let's say you can do a 100-pound squat. Okay? All right. So there's your base. And let's say you're able to follow the other two principles of Milo. All right? You're gonna show up every day. No problem, I'm showing up. I've got a program, I'm one of these people where I'm gonna be consistent. And I'm going to make small increases. Well, hey, how about a pound a week? Does that throw you off mentally? Nah, pound a week, I can do. Now a lot of people who won't do the program and who won't make progress, they'll say, oh, no, I can increase more than a pound a week. But guess what? You do a pound a week, okay? And you do that for two years, okay? You got 104 weeks, okay? Now, you just took a 100-pound squat. Two years later, you're squatting over 200 pounds. And that's just the beginning. You can keep that program going because small increases allow the adaptation system to stay consistent with what you're trying to do. The body is a vast reservoir of potential. It can adapt as long as you know what to give it <clears throat> and how to give it. So remember, in a world of confusion, in a world of experts fighting with other experts, this is the right way, that is the right way. Strength training, you go to Milo. Small amounts of weight in the beginning, a lot of volume. You show up all the time and you increase small amounts, but you're willing to put time in. Small amounts become big amounts. And as your strength gets greater, in two years, you not only doubled your squat, but you won't look the same. So, that's it for today's show. I hope you listen to the Maloney Method, and more importantly, listen to Milo, because Milo is the guy. Thank you.